This is the story of Jesus in the wilderness. This is the desert box. Inside is a small piece of the desert. So many important things happened in the desert that we just have to have a small piece of it here in our room to tell the stories of God. This desert is a strange and wild place. At night, the desert is very cold. But in the day, the desert is burning hot. There's almost no water at all. The desert is always changing. As the wind blows, it shapes and molds. So the desert is never the same. Jesus was led by the Spirit of God into the desert. So, for 40 days and for 40 nights, he stayed alone in the desert, talking with God and wondering which way he should go. Jesus had been in the desert a very long time, and he had nothing to eat. He was very hungry. Then the evil one came to Jesus and said, If you really are the special Son of God, turn these stones into bread. Jesus was very hungry. Bread would taste so good. Jesus wondered. Then Jesus said, No. Jesus said, The scripture says we need more than bread to live. We must also do what God says. Then the evil one came to Jesus a second time and took him to Jerusalem, the holy city of God. Here the evil one set Jesus on the highest point of the temple. The evil one said, if you really are the special Son of God, prove it. Throw yourself down, for the scripture says, God will send angels to save you. Jesus wondered, if angels saved him, everyone would know he was special and that they would follow him. Then Jesus said, no. The scripture says, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Then the evil one came to Jesus a third time and took him to a very high mountain. Look, said the evil one, here are all the nations of the world. Look how wonderful they are. I will give all of them to you if you will worship me. It would be wonderful to be king of all these nations. Jesus wondered. Then Jesus said, no. Go away, Satan. 
The scripture says, you shall worship God only. The evil one left Jesus, and Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God. Jesus returned safely home. And in the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus began to tell anyone who would listen about a special kingdom, the kingdom of God. I wonder what it was like to be alone in the desert for such a long time. I wonder what Jesus and God talked about in the desert I wonder how Jesus felt when the evil one was near him. Watch as I put the story away.